Hello, welcome back to this other video in the IPv6 series. Today, let's look at how to configure and verify IPv6 static routing. The topology you have here on the screen shows router 1 and router 2 connected. And uh, behind router 1, we have this network 2001db8 1 colon colon slash 64. And behind router 2, you have 2001db8 2 colon colon slash 64. The aim is to enable communication between host 1 and host 2. And right now, host 1 can reach to router 1, host 2 can reach to router 2. Router 1 and router 2 can exchange packets, but host 1 can reach to host 2. Let's go in the console and uh, do the configuration. Right now, this is the IPv6 address on host 1. If we try to ping the IP address of host 2, which is 2001db8, 2 colon colon 2 slash 64, the ping is unsuccessful, but we can ping the directly connected router, that is router 1. Here the ping is successful. So now let's do the configuration needed for host 1 and host 2 to communicate. First of all, in router 1, we will create a static route. If we do show IPv6 route right now, we can see that there are only the connected and the local routes. There is no way IPv6 uh, router 1 can reach to router 2 network. So we start by going into global configuration mode. Let's note that by default, IPv6 uh, um, Cisco routers do not route IPv6 traffic. So we want to enable IPv6 routing with the command IPv6 unicast routing. And also, there is a subsystem of Cisco, which is called the Cisco Express Forwarding, that, enable, that enables fast routing. So we want to enable that as well. So the route itself is um, to the network 2001db8 to colon colon slash 64. So that's where we want to go. And to go there, we need to pass through router 2. And what is the IPv6 address of router 2? So I'll do that. I'll see that with the show IPv6 interface brief. And router 1 is connected to router 2 through internet, fast internet 01. So this is the IP address we are looking for. I will paste it here. Oh, I need a space. Then I have my route which is created. Same configuration needs to also happen on router 2. So I go in global configuration mode, enabling IP v6 routing, uh, fast forwarding the routing, and then I want to create a route with IPv6 route going to network 2001 db8 colon colon 1 slash 64. Um, I want to go through Hey, so that's the IP address of router 1. Now, if I show IPv6 route here, I'll see a new entry, a static route marked by the S here to the network 2001 db8. Oh, there is a mistake I did there, so I need to correct that. Okay, so this is bad so i want to remove this and then get it back to so this is what we want so if i do show ipv6 route yeah we have the static route to the network behind um, router one if we also do here a show IPv6 route we have this static route to the network behind router 2 now if we ping uh, host 2 it is now reachable 
So that's how you configure and verify static IPv6 routing on Cisco devices. I hope this was informative and I would like to thank you.